Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings, welcome to the technical analysis of the Forex market from the forexpsami.com. We will continue to talk about the euro, but today we will start from the daily time frame of the euro currency because there is mm, there are some interesting details that appeared during the previous couple of sessions and I would like to discuss it with you. Well, uh, in general, I think that you remember that our uh, nearest long-term target is around 143.50, 144 somewhere around, around this area <coughs> but currently the nearest target from the recent swing from this possible A, B, C bottom 143.07 just about this highs also if we take the retracement from this high to this low 127 expansion will be the same area it's right here well the first important moment currently is that price action doesn't confirm the trend. You can see the trend is bearish, so price below this red line, so may see the predictor, okay? But price continue creeps high. So this makes me think that possibly, and I think that market is stronger than it want to see, okay? Also market, as you can see, move above the weekly pivot point and t pay attention to this price action. Look at this doji. The next bar was the inside bar for this doji. So price action was totally be inside of the previous bar. And then when the market has made the decision, it accelerates to the upside, move above the weekly pivot point and has held there. Now it stays below, above the weekly pivot point. This is the signs of strength. Well, possibly we can see the price action like here. If you remember that on the previous week I said that this is the bullish dynamic pressure market stands above the weekly pivot point so I expect the acceleration to the upside and taking out these highs so this has could happen again what the taking out will, will it be maybe it will be just a wash and rinse market hit with target and returns back or it continue we do not know but in general this is the warning signs for those who want to enter on the short side and this is really uh, you should worry of this price action because we can get the scenario like here so market stands below, market also hasn't confirmed this price uh, trend, so it also creeps high, like here, market can accelerate to the upside. Well, this is what I want to tell you about the daily time frame, and uh, although we can see that bearish context, the trend is bearish, okay, but the price action is not, and it's worrying me, and uh, I do not want to enter in these circumstances on the, long, on the short side of the market. Now let's shift to the 4 hour chart. On the 4 hour chart we also see the couple of interesting moments. First of all you can see the completion of this butterfly that we have discussed on a couple days ago. Market has hit 1618 target. Also this by the way the weekly pivot resistance 1 in this area. Okay. And turn to some retracement. <coughs> Pardon me. Current trade is, trend as you can see bullish. Okay. And what the price action in this circle. You can see that market shift trend to the bearish during the current trading session, during the current bar, okay, for our bar, but car now it returns back. If it will hold above the red line and trend will remain bullish, and if market will show some, again, the, the same, the king candle, just above it, with the same price action, turn to the bearish in the beginning of the trading section, and begin the bar and closed above it, this will be the stop grabber pattern. It will tell us that market intends to take out these highs, at least those, these highs. If market will shift trend to the bearish, well, this will be the possible warning sign that we can see them moving to the downside. And take a look at this on this butterfly. Now, for those of you who remember the trade uh, that we have made a couple of mo months ago on the Swiss franc, this was this uh, very similar situation, the same butterfly was, and the target of this butterfly was 1618 expansion from this low to this high of whole butterfly price action and this target is right here 1618 target 139.10 very close to our daily confidence support that we have discussed on the previous week and then the weekly, in the weekly research okay so this butterfly if it will start to work 
this will be the target of this possible butterfly and the early uh, early sign that possibly market has turned to the downside will be if it will move below the weekly pivot for the during today trading session and this in fact could happen because uh, many uh, large banks for example GP Morgan uh, expect that during today's non-farm payrolls we could expect the solid and strong upside surprise so if it will happen uh, I can't exclude that possibly market will accelerate to the downside because currently it's a big deviation between uh, non-farm payrolls ADP and initial claims um, data and there is too, too much deviation in the uh, negative sign between the uh, non-farm payrolls and ADP so uh, non-farm payrolls should correct higher and this could lead to some possibly to the high uh, surprise during today and uh, farm payrolls release okay if it will happen that market really could accelerate to the downside and I can't exclude that it possibly could reach even 139.20 area but in the beginning of current trading session watch for this price action if market will hold there okay, and show some additional candle uh, that will be look like so just trying to shift trend to the bearish button return back close above the MSCD predict then possibly we can expect that market should take out these highs well on the hourly chart what we see here first of all we can see the hourly trend is bearish and market now is forming A, B, C, D retracement okay the target of this retracement 141.21 just below this hourly confidence support confidence support stands 141.33 area okay market has hit it once already if you can see how this retracement develops thrust down, thrust down, retracement, thrust down, thrust down so this is really strong sell off and I think that market should reach at least this target before this will happen I do not um, I think that we should not um, intend to enter on the long side of the possible enter to the upside price action okay also concerning about the previous butterfly on the 4 hour chart look at this strong bar right to the target this is also a bit of what worries me that possibly market could continue move to the upside. I prefer to see the small bars uh, toward to the um, target of this of any pattern. But if market accelerates toward to the target, it could su it could suggest that possibly it continue move to the upside, and butterfly will fail. We'll see. But there, as you can see, there are a lot of contradictive uh, factors and uh, signs on the market currently, and. Um, what can we say? The first thing that we should expect if market will move below this weekly pivot point again and shift for our trend to the bearish, then possibly I think that the bearish bias will prevail uh, in the nearest time. If it will not happen and market will continue from the stop grabbers in this era, then I think that market could just hit this target and accelerates up, take out these highs 142.10 precisely. So currently we can discuss only the short term perspective for the possible trading. Uh, well, the long term perspective too much depends from mm, today's non-farm payrolls release. Okay, so be careful. Uh, I, I think that uh, it will be a wise decision if we contract our positions before the non-farm payrolls release or tight stops, or even will be flat during this uh, slice and dice uh, price action. So mm, if you, of course. Mm, not the, like the trade the data releases so that's my view on the current situation on your currency be careful and good luck today